Hello, and welcome to another episode of Resident Evil 5. No, my screen is not blurry. You done asking that question? Maybe I should pocket some of this machine gun ammo. Yeah, just a little bit of it, maybe. Should I pocket any of this rifle ammo? I don't know. I'm ready when you are, though. Yeah, I'll leave the game installed if you ever want to play again. It'd be a good streaming game. Yeah, I'll be right back. You say as we continue. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll walk ahead. Obviously, I brought some extra fire with that. Oh, this is a boss. This is a bad time to... What the hell happened here? <laughs> I pressed F. I'm just gonna say that here and now. I pressed F. I paid my respects. I was pressing it. You have to mash time. it. I was the entire time. <laughs> well then. That's twice down. I am. You can hear this. Yes, I can. Oh, no. Well, I got both of us that time. <laughs> you can hear me mashing it, so you know it's not me. Yeah, <laughs> I pressed it! <laughs> My 
Oh, You're supposed to be on guard! I thought I was just gonna press F all the time. No! That works for the most of it. You have to be ready to press F and B and A and D at any minute. I'm just gonna press F for the first five minutes. <laughs> me! Until we get to this thing. I'm just gonna press- oh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna press all the dodge buttons the entire time! <laughs> Persistent son of a bitch. So now what? You think our weapons can hurt that thing? No. I don't know. No. We gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. I don't know how you did not get hit by that. I. I. Um. No, don't hit it. That's a waste of man. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Michael. I don't have a toy space. Should I combine these? Go ahead. Stop Wait, fine, you didn't. There's ammo here. <gasps> Thank you. I think that's Magnum ammo too. No, it's pistol. Pistol? Stop! What? Hey, look, two blockers. That's probably gonna come in handy. Shotgun ammo for you. If you want the proximity mine, yes. If you want no, the I don't. I don't know if I have You have the proximity mine. Yeah. I don't need this. Bro. I don't think we're. I'm loaded to this. With guns and a healing item. If the Achilles does not wake it up, it's not okay. it's not alive. Hey look, reading. Spencer's notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the dangers posed by the threat of, uh, of the T-Virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of over 100,000 of their own people. If the truth of this matter is ever, uh, ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even a child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have to hide their own foolish mistakes. They will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City's annihilation. It would seem Umbrella will share Raccoon City's fate. But perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. Umbrella was nothing but a tool for the research of the progenitor virus. 
Even without that tool, the research still survives. Only umbrellas, lowly employees, will be hurt by its dissolution. If the secret research involving the progenitor virus is protected, then I can always re uh, rebuild anew. It's already made preparations for. Or I've already made such preparations. I've already made preparations for such a plan. Sorry, Michael, my reading's off. The research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there the progenitor virus is produced, something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the Africans, African facility's existence, thanks to our strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confirmed to the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. All that remains is to close the facility, and everything will go according to my plan. Once the facility is gone, all its connections to Umbrella will disappear with it. Then I'll have to deal with anyone who has a level 10 security clearance, as they are the only ones who knew, know of the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be summarily disposed of. My secret will be protected when one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. Pronounce that inside, personnel with access to come to secrets. Level 10. Owens S. Deceased, Hennings B. Imprisoned, Masaki T. Deceased, Jenny K. Whereabouts unknown, Carlos M. Found, information obtained, and eliminated. Level 9. Brandon. Deceased, 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 deceased. Everybody else is deceased. Nine. Read. Report on Project W. August 20. Oh wait, my bad. This one's actually interesting. 1998, is it? Has it been confirmed yeah. that the accident at the Raccoon City Arc uh, Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W test subject number 13, Burger King fun Fungus. Hereafter referred to as Albert. His death in the accident has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Albert's death was confirmed by the Information Department. Albert's death was the current success rate of the Project W down to 18%. Uh, the quota of qualified individuals for the project has been dr drastically reduced and, and must be addressed immediately. This was a grave situation for any progress that can be made in, this, in the project since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses. It would be advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this adjustment can be made that will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albertson. Umbrella Information Department LSW. Albert West. Interesting. I wanted to do that. No. Hey, look, another note. Oh. Uh, satellite laser Shango operating manual. The Shango satellite laser is operated by using a rocket laser style targeting system. LTD that sends targeting coordinates to the satellite. The satellite is then capable of firing a highly concentrated laser to within centimeters of the target. Operating procedures aim the LTD at the target to relay coordinates. Once the target has been the same. Handgun ammo. Huh? Handgun ammo. Okay. The coordinates will be relayed during the transmission. The target ring will appear red on the target. If the targeting sector is AI perceives that the target is no longer being tracked by the target scope, transmission of the coordinates will be used. When lock on appears in the scope, it means the transmission has been successfully sent. Pulling the trigger will now activate the laser. The firing cannon must be given time to recharge the force. Satellite laser. We just might have a chance. The the targeting device is on the roof. Come Your on. Shotgun There's ammo no time to here. lose. No. Oh, there it is. The handgun ammo's over here. Also, you can investigate over here. Yeah. Things gigantic we have to take out before it destroys the ship. I do you mind if I use the laser? Go ahead. It's not like any of us have anything that can actually damage you anyways. No. <laughs> I don't have room for the incendiary. I do. There are things to gonna shoot. Huh? Well, obviously the point is obvious. Let me just 
just fine. I don't know why people will come back. This works a lot better. I go beside you. Also, ouch. Hey, rifle ammo. Okay, I'm not gonna get a chance. That's different. <laughs> what did you get happen, B? Inventory. <laughs> Actually, I don't accept that. Well then, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.